Life Fixers. Hope you're having an awesome day. I think it is time for you to start talking to yourself. Yep. Don't act weird. Don't act crazy. Don't think that someone has to put you in a mental home, but you should start using the strategy of self-talk. Here's why. A couple of reasons. Number one, it clarifies your thoughts. Number two, it helps to identify what's really going on. It helps you really identify the problem and the current situation. It helps you come up with a strategy. Number three, it helps you come up with a strategy for what you have to do in this current situation. And number four, the reason why I'm bringing this up after the previous episode with Branch and CC is because it helps you understand what you are going to say to somebody else if you're using this strategy before you have a difficult conversation with someone, right? So imagine I want to tell you something that I don't like that you're doing in the relationship. And like Cece said, a lot of people back down. They don't really say it because they are scared that maybe the other person's going to be insulted. And so they just don't say it. So same sort of thing. If you talk it out loud, you say out loud, you talk to yourself what you're going to tell that person. Besides for you actually clarifying what you want to say, it also becomes clear to you in your brain. So you hear how it sounds. You know what words you could adjust, what sounds good. Obviously, it's still hard to say, but it makes it much, much, much easier. That way you can actually have that communication that you want to have without just like dancing around in a circle without doing it. Now, I know when I learned the strategy first time when I was rewriting my brain in like sixth or seventh grade, it was, I was like, absolutely not. I'm not doing this. And it took me a really long time to do it. Okay. To actually start implementing it and do it. Now, please don't wait so long to you at least try it, have a growth mindset and try it. It sounds weird, but if you try it, it might actually be really helpful. If it doesn't work for you, no problem. Go away. But don't say it doesn't work before you actually tried and saw that it doesn't work for you. And don't try it once. Try it multiple times. doesn't work for you. I get it. Different strategies work better for different people. But it might just be the thing that you are looking for. Okay? Like I said, I hated it in the beginning. Okay? So how does self-talk? How could you actually use self-talk in your life? How does it show up? It's like, let's say you need to try to remember something and you can't write it down right now. Then you are just repeating to yourself out loud. It helps you remember it. You are going through a recipe or baking a cake. You are saying, okay, I put in the flour, I put in the sugar. It is re-emphasizing, making sure you are working systematically and you're not skipping anything. If you, like we said before, the important part, if you want to have a conversation with someone and before you have it, you like just lock yourself in a room so no one thinks that you're crazy or while you're driving in the car, just talk to yourself. Say, imagine, okay, I said this, I want to explain to you my thought process. I really like this. I really don't like, I feel like this one, whatever it is, right? Have that thought process, say it out loud. It could be when you're trying to count something. It could be when you're trying to organize something. Okay, should I put this here or should I do that there? All those sort of things is self-talk that helps it clarify in your brain. Even ask yourself, what should I do in this situation? Asking those questions that we spoke about earlier and you ask yourself questions and you're trying to mediate yourself to ask, help yourself figure it out, do it out loud. It would help you clarify things and help things work better. So your challenge for today is just go and do it because today's episode was not about a cognitive function. Today's episode was about a strategy. Cognitive functions are the things that make up thinking and strategies are what we use to help us rewire your brain and help us improve those cognitive functions. So all you've got to do today is go and try it. Try it at least once, especially if you have to have a hard conversation with someone and see what it does for you. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now. That's all for this episode of the Life Fix University podcast, but I have a huge favor to ask of you that will not only support the show, but will also help the people you love most. We are striving for 1 million downloads by the end of 2025, and we can't do this without your help. If you love this episode, please share it with two of your family and friends so they too can rewire their brains to have an extraordinary marriage. It was awesome spending time with you, and I'll see you on the next episode.